close to six hours from now, Mikel Arteta is facing his biggest, biggest test into this preseason as he plays Chelsea in the Florida Cup final down in America. In the you remember, Mikel Arteta has a 100% record in the preseason, having gone ahead to beat Nuremberg by five, by, by five by five goals to three he beat everton Tonil and he recently beat a side which goes by the names of Orlando City by three goals to one either for you and Gabriel Jesus out of the four games he has scored three goals and scored one and created one that is Gabriel Jesus in the for you and now they are going into the mix to look for a team to play or to play a team which goes into Chelsea who have really gone ahead to play two preseason games. They've won one in the 90 minutes. The second game they drew one one. So we are waiting to see how that is going to happen into this. If at all they draw, they'll win penalties to see who is the champion of the Florida Cup finale in there for you. And in a game like this. Like a finale of Florida Cup final, Arsenal needs to get out and put out its best team either for you and Mikel Arteta needs to go ahead and do the needful either for you and bring in his best players on the field of play. And let's wait and see how my team here on to Rokani Media Football has gone ahead to pick the players we expect Mikel Arteta to start with into his team either for you. Smash the like button. Comment and share. If at all you are watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in on a daily. Obviously, I go by the names of Rock and David. Your usual suspect, your, your, your partner in crime, a person who is behind this microphone always to talk to you because you guys are really so much good and you deserve such attention from me in there for you. Smash the like button, guys. Smash it. Let's give this video close to 100 likes in the for you before it reaches the time of the game. Now, Mikel Ateta is just a very good manager obviously they've just signed into zinchenko their fifth signing of the season and we expect zinchenko maybe to come into this game later on i know he can play some 20 20 minutes or 25 minutes in the way because the manager has come out and told us that this man is really fit He's been training with Man City and he looks to be fit into the training. And he took part into his first training session with Arsenal in the for that is Zinchenko, a man of the season in the for you. So let's get into the predicted lineup and see how Arsenal is really going to start into this game of football as they play side, which goes by the names of Chelsea. System 4 2 3 1. They are playing with. They are playing with four, four defenders, of which two are fullbacks, two are central defenders, a double midfield pivot. You know that very well. And then a central attack midfielder plus two wingers and one center forward in there for you. So let's get into this system and see how is Mikel Ateta going to orchestrate this system to see that he really stops Chelsea in there for you. A team that looks so much strong, but we don't know whether they've attained the fitness of Arsenal in there for you because Arsenal looks to be so much fit into this game of football. In goal, Ramsdale returned in goal against Orlando City. 45 minutes and was taken off. Then Matt Tala came in and played the part for the next 45 minutes. But I will believe that he's going to start in goal and he's going to be in goal for some 60 minutes in the for you. The other game was the first game of him in the preseason. So we expect him to come in here and really do the needful facade, which goes by names of Arsenal into what we call the field of play. And we expect him to play a big role in the goal of Arsenal to really save them because I know. Chelsea is really going to be so much attacking onto a side which goes by names of Arsenal because they're having Raheem Sterling, they're having Mason Mount, they're having very many players that are really fast and can threaten and can threaten the back four of Arsenal. Today we are getting the big test of Arsenal in there for you and we're waiting to see how that is really going to happen in there for you at a side which goes by names of America as Arsenal plays a side which goes by names of Chelsea into the Florida Cup. Ramsdale in goal, that is my prediction. I predict he's starting in goal. Cedric Sowara is obviously going to play to the right back. Tommy Yasu was seen in training, but I don't believe that if you're a manager and you're coming back a player from injury, you can get him into play in a magnitude, in a game of such magnitude. I don't believe that. And I know that's why I've put in Cedric Sowara to play to the right back of a side which goes by names of Arsenal in the for you as they play Chelsea in the for you. Because Cedric Sowara has played all the three games Arsenal has been playing. And now... This is going to be the fourth game of which I really believe that the manager is going to give players close to 60 minutes. As, as, you, as you saw the other game, the other game of, uh, the other game of uh, Orlando City, players like Nketiah played like 70 minutes. 
Pepe played like 70 minutes. Elini played like 70 minutes. And Tavares played almost 80. Either for you, which other player um, that really played lots of games, minutes in the midfield. Rob Holding, I think he played some good 60 minutes. Then they brought on uh, they brought on uh, Gabriel Magalhães for Pablo Mari. You get so we are waiting to see how the manager is really going to go around this time. But I will believe that all the players I'm naming in the first eleven that you're going to see into the full eleven predicted lineup of Arsenal versus Chelsea are really going to play sixty plus minutes in this game of football in their way because this is the second last game where the manager needs to test them before he really goes ahead to play Sevilla. Tavares Nuno linked to move away from Arsenal to Atalanta. Obviously, he's going to start into that side because Zinchenko, I know he's fit, but he's not yet used to playing with his teammates. I predict Zinchenko will start the Sevilla Cup final, sorry, the Emirates Cup final in London and that's going to be his first full debut for Arsenal that is Zinchenko so I expect him to play the Emirates Cup final but in this game I, pre I prefer Zinchenko I think Zinchenko will come in in the 15 minutes 20 minutes in the for you and the manager will get him on at least to go ahead and really showcase what he has for a side which goes by Enzo Arsenal that is Zinchenko but Tavares has been having a very good season in the for you but my problem has always been his position his decision making when he's having the ball but the rest he's okay the rest is okay and secondly that shot that he always does on the edge of the tennis box area of the opponent that is so much aimless you get no when he's taking it he's having a very good picture that i really want to go ahead and really take it but the product or the result of that shot just indicates that it's aimless because you can't shoot from there and then the ball is so way wide from the goal area you get not even the goal, but the goal area. It's so wide. Does he really does he really train? Does he really practice? I think he'd go ahead and practice such shots onto the training ground of Arsenal. But to me, I believe there is a very good player in Tavares, and this might be <coughs> this must be his last game. At Arsenal, and I think he will either be at going heading to Brighton or Atalanta. But Dimazio and Fabrizio Romano had told us that the guy is far ahead to play for side, which goes by names of Atalanta. Atalanta, Atalanta is winning the battle they're having between them and Brighton in their fight. So I expect him to play onto the left back of Arsenal in there for you the left fullback of arsenal in there for you then gabio mangales obviously is going to put on the left side of the central defense because in the game like this you need to get out your big guns and test them and say you guys can you really go ahead and really defend chelsea chelsea is not in the best form it's not the best form but you know there is no friendly between arsenal and chelsea i would like to let this know well because these are two teams that come from london and each each and everyone prefer, refers to himself as a king of london but obviously when it comes to trophies Obviously, Chelsea is the king of London, but when it comes to supporters and legacy and the most famous team, Arsenal are the kings of London. So, we are in America, where these two teams are highly supported, and Gabio Magales is going to play to that left side, because you can't risk Alexo Pablo Maris to start the game of football, because you know what it happened when you played them in your second game of the season. Chelsea really beat you by two goals to nil, and Pablo Mari was a joke. He was turned into... He was turned into a joke by Lukaku and very many others that really approached him in that field of play. He is partnering with Saliba William, who is soon agreeing a deal with Arsenal to add more two years onto this deal. That's going to see him close to more four years at Arsenal. In the field. remember, his contract is two two years, and they want to prolong it to like two or three years in the for you to give him like four or five years a long stay at Arsenal. <laughs> Guys, if there is a defender that has really came in at Arsenal and is like a new signing, yet he's just, he was just away on loan. Obviously, it's William Saliba. And I really count him as a new signing. Reason being, he has not been here at Arsenal. And he has been at Marseille performing very well, but his return has really improved that back for a lot. And I really believe that he's going to be playing into the right side of the central defense. That is a man who goes by the names of by the names by the names of William Saliba and I want to see their partnership with um I want to see their partnership with um I want to see their partnership with uh, Gabriel Magales because it it really looked looked great when he comes in through both of them are strong they are fast and they are so much concentrated on what we call the style of play 
into a style of play of a man who goes by the names of Mikel Ateta. They play a high line when they are together. And I'm, 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 I'm waiting to see, is, is Chelsea, sorry, is Chelsea going to outbeat this central back pair? And I really believe that Mikel Ateta is going to go for because the likes of Ben White have been nursing injuries ever since this season, ever since this Preseason started, and we first saw him play some good minutes in the game of football in the game of Orlando City when they brought him on half time. They took off Cedric Soares and played as a right back when he came in through. So I believe that Saliba and Gabriel Magales are, are not injury prone players. And to me, because Tommy Yasu is really an injury prone player, I believe the manager is thinking of Ben White playing on the right side of the full back. <laughs> you get playing as a right fullback in most of the games Arsenal is going to play because he's good. He's good. He can play in the central defense. He can play on the right. He can play as a right back and he can play in the central midfield. So I think Mikel Ateta is having memories of that. And I really believe that in this game of football, you might find yourself that they've brought him again to replace Cedric Soares. So wait and see what is going to happen in this game of football as Arsenal plays Chelsea in the for you because it's a big test of Mikel Ateta and his new signings in the for you. Then Thomas Partey in the double midfield pivot alongside Grant Xhaka. Obviously, they play very well together, but they really miss out on a lot of things, especially when Mikel Ateta really believes that it's supposed to be a single pivot. And I do believe that Time is coming for all of this to change when Thomas Pate will obviously and obviously be the only player into that into that midfield and playing a single pivot because Arsenal has very many attack-minded players. I really believe that in the games of Arsenal that are not going to be against as much as United, Chelsea, Man City, Tottenham Hotspur, Liverpool, Mikel Ateta would sometimes go for will go with a 4-1-3-2 with Thomas Partey playing as a single pivot and a man who goes by the name of Odegaard or Fabio Vieira playing as a central attack midfielder Bukayo Saka onto the right wing and Martinelli onto the left wing. Then Gabriel Jesus and Edin Ketia will lead the line because we believe that there is a connection between Inketia. There is a big connection between Inketia and Gabriel Jesus that is developing and the movements they are starting to know each each and everyone's movement. They read themselves like a book and right now they know themselves in there for you and they read the moves of each other. So, you'd like to see Edin here, who was given a new contract of close to five years at Arsenal and they promised him regular football. Obviously, you know that the, if for him to start, obviously, in the UEFA Europa League, he's going to start in there for you. But in the games of the Premier League, for him to start, obviously, Arsenal have to go for a 3-5-2 all a 4-1-3-2 such that those two are really leading the line in there for you. But in the double midfield pivot, that kills off the system of Mikel Ateta that he wants to play with two center forwards in there for you. But Thomas Partey and Grant Xhaka are really good. And Thomas Partey is coming on in the game of Orlando City. Gave them control of the game. They really looked like they now own the game. But before he's coming in, they were really shaking the midfield. Though in the second half, they never allowed Orlando to get a shot on target. They never registered a shot on target or off target. The starts they had in the first half ended. And when Arsenal came in the second half, they began a new era. That is Arsenal in the foot. Thomas Partey in the down mid pivot with Grant Xhaka is what I will expect Mikel Ateta to put up on the field of play as Arsenal plays a side which goes by the names of Chelsea in America. Then Odegaard, obviously the captain of Arsenal, is going to play into the central attack midfielder and he's going to be linking the, that midfield area to the attack in the for you and I know he's going to do that very well because I saw some glimpses of him and Gabriel Hess was trying to develop. So I want to see that more and more and more and more, guys, because I really believe that these players are really talented. And when a talented center forward meets a talented central attacking midfielder, obviously we expect magic to happen because both are really good at movement. You get their technical abilities are not doubted. They are quick. You get so they are really good and they're not selfish by the way when you look at Odegaard and Gabriel Jesus they are not selfish so I expect Odegaard to play that side but you never know Fabio Vieira might play a part later in this game because he's back on the field of play has trained for like one week now ever since he really got cured from that 
foot for that minor foot injury and he's really laying it out to go in and really lay it better that is a man who goes by the names of martin odegaard playing as a central attacking midfielder for side which goes by the names of arsenal bukayo saka obviously has an inverted right winger in the for you is going to play that side on the right side of the attacking midfield as an inverted right as an inverted winger because this is a left foot and obviously his quality is not doubted but i really believe that arsenal need a more a more a more a more a more striking and uh, flaring inverted winger because Mikel Ateta needs that and that's why he had gone in all out for Rafinha and Fabrizio Romano told us that if at all Arsenal really find a very good inverted winger that plays on the right with the left foot they are going to spend high they are willing to spend high that's why they had broken the bank to go in all for Rafinha at 60 million pounds so Arsenal is still having its 60 million pounds they are looking for that striker who really has a sorry for that winger who plays on the right with the left foot who really has the spark that will come in and really lead Arsenal to where they really want to see themselves go in their for you. So, Bukayo Saka really played very well in the game of, um, he scored a goal. In, in the two games he has played, he has scored one goal and one assist. Everton he scored a goal, cut us off the Gabriel Jesus assist. Then, for the game of a team which goes by the names of Orlando City, he really set up an assist for Race Nelson and Race Nelson scored into that game of football. When you look at Gabriel Martinelli, I think he's going to start because he scored a goal that I don't know whether that ball would have gone to the back of the net at all. It was not deflected, but he really scored that goal and registered the only shot on target for Arsenal in the entire 45 minutes as Arsenal playing Orlando. That's why they took them off and they brought on some other players in there for you. But this game, I will believe that when he's playing alongside the first string side of Arsenal, he looks scary. You get he he really strikes fear into the defenders of the opponent at this time round Chelsea in particular obviously we don't doubt the technicality of a man who goes by the names of Gabriel Martinelli his flair is on point his passing game is good the way he cuts inside and outside he's not selfish he really does or assists the interplays the double passes everything he does the way he occupies he occupies the half spaces in there for you created by by Nuno Tavares and Odegaard all all Thomas Pate is really immense. So, we are waiting to see him start into this game of football as Arsenal play Chelsea in the for you. Their biggest test of the summer in America that is happening today. Gabriel Jesus obviously leading the line for side which goes by Arsenal for him. What do I have to say? He has done everything on the, on the pitch. And we know that he's a big game killer. Even last season when Man City were beating, we are beating Chelsea by one goal to nil. You know, who really killed off the game at Stamford Bridge, it's Gabio Jesus. Obviously, Gabio Jesus, he's really a very good player. Certified number nine. The energy is out of the energy is unquestioned. When you look at the press, Pep Guardiola refers to him as the best pressing center forward in the world. So that is what he's really good at. And secondly, he always makes himself a viable. He always makes himself available. And when you guys cannot really go ahead and really take on these defenders, he gets that ball, takes it to them, and he beats them. That is, Gabriel Jesus, one of the beauties that Arsenal are really getting from him is they are now getting a striker who can create a chance out of nothing. I saw him do that for close to for close to three times in the game of, of Everton, in the game of... Um, in the game of um, Nuremberg, in the game of Orlando City. So I expect him to go ahead and really do it in this game of football. Something that I don't doubt that won't happen is that Martin Odegaard and the midfield will fail to link him or get him on the boy a lot because I've seen it today in Manchester United when they, when they we're drawing with Aston Villa. The midfield couldn't get their number nine, Antoine Martial, on the boy a lot. So what makes a number nine really drop deep is because you don't get him the ball. But when you see your number nine dropping deep to go and to come in here and really get that ball, obviously just know that midfield is doing its job. So we expect Jesus to start into that game of football as Arsenal plays Arsenal in the for you and is going to face Kalidi Kulibale, Thiago Silva and Chaloba. It's really going to be an interesting battle that all of us should be here to watch and see 
who is really going to win it because it's really interesting and so much on point on this game of Arsenal. So Arsenal is starting with Ramsdale in goal. The fullbacks we're having, Cedric Soar is playing onto the right fullback and um, Tavares, left fullback. Gabriel Magales playing as a central defender on the left side of the central defense. Then a player who goes by names of Saliba William is going to play onto the right side of the central defense. Thomas Pate is always going to play into the double midfield pivot with Grant Xhaka, obviously. Though Elunilu had a very fantastic game in the for you. And Odegaard is playing as a central attack midfielder. And then we're having Bukayo Saka as an uninverted winger on the right. Martinelli, an inverted winger onto the left. Then Gabriel Jesus is going to do the line for side which goes by names of Arsenal. So guys, feel free to let me know what your predictions are. Who do you think should start? Who do you think should have been this in this game of football? Because for us, we've laid it out with the team at Rock and Media. We've given you how we believe Arsenal is really going to go ahead and stand as they play a side which goes by names of Chelsea. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. I sign out for now, guys. This is our second video of the day. Remember, others are coming in through. But remember, at exactly 3 a.m., Arsenal is playing, is playing, is playing Chelsea in the for you. And it's going to be a very big battle between Gabriel Jesus and the back three of Chelsea. That is Chaloba, Thiago, Silva, and Koulibaly, Kaulid, Koulibaly. A game that is really going to be given to him as his debut. The side which goes by the names of Chelsea. Yeah, sign out for now. See you later. And we are returning back. And you know, when we are coming live for this game, obviously, when we are just one hour away from this game starting, we'll be live. I'm out.